in 2020, um, I lived in the Midwest, but I had been reading about salmon runs, which occur on the west coast of the United States and in Alaska and Canada, and how salmon were endangered because of industrial and agricultural pollution. And what really enamored me or inspired me with the salmon is their life cycle. I had not known about that growing up in the Midwest. <laughs> and I, my parents at that point were getting older, and it was sort of a linear trajectory in their life. And I'm like, oh, I was like, I was just, I, I was startled that the salmon have much more of an inspired life cycle, that there's a cycle. And the Native Americans have a adopted that perspective that life is a cycle so using so I went to the west coast a lot which is where I live now in Alaska and I videotaped salmon runs and salmon jump not only do they swim out to the ocean and then at a certain time in their lives of course they come back to the same river or stream swim upstream against the current so one of my pieces is labeled against the current and then they jump up the falls to return to the place of their birth, um, in which case they die and they lay eggs and die and then their young feed on that material. So I, at the same time, I'm very interested and I also had developed a course at the Art Institute on uh, ritual and ceremony and I was reading African uh, mythology and information about rituals and ceremony in their cultures. And I came upon an example. Um, I, I envisioned this in my mind. There were not any real, they, of course there was not video and there really were not pictures, but the description was that sacred symbols were painted on a nude body under the darkness of night so no one could see them. And then there was a fire lit, like uh, we would call it a campfire, and these people with the sacred symbols painted on them would move around the fire. And so the symbols would be, would unfold over time as they moved around in the flicker of the firelight. And also the symbols took the form of the body. So there was this juxtaposition of the body and movement, of course, aroma, the strong smells, um, and the unfolding of these symbols. And that made, that inspired me to do a series of video installations um, where I projected salmon runs, and I can describe some of these, but um, into different objects. And in one case, I digitally superimposed. I had videotaped a nude body tumbling in water, basically me tumbling in water, and I superimposed that with a salmon run, and that synthesis was projected into a um, an empty full-size hospital bed with crumpled sheets. So I was interested in this juxtaposition of video, not narrative in the sense of a story, but but a narrative. 